Hey guys, it is the Frugal Nista getting ready to do a free find for today. That's me in the mirror. Let's start with that first. This is a gold coastal filling mirror with shells and starfish all around. It's in like a gold wash. Nothing wrong with the mirror, no cracks, actually perfect. The only thing I can see that it must have come to the store, Kirkland is the name of the store, with this crack. So they didn't even try to blow it out for clearance. So I'm going to see can I sell that. I would keep that because it's actually perfect, but I don't have any shells and stuff. Next are these two bar stools. I don't know what it is about the Frugal Nista. She has a bunch of bar stools. I sold the three bar stools um, at our last flea market. But these are 30-inch bar stools by Sawyer. The price on them, guys, are $99 from Bed Bath & Beyond. They are 360 degree swivel, brown, cherry finish. And uh, yeah, not bad for a hundred bucks a piece, but even better for free. I'm willing to bet you that all of the packing, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet that everything's in here. So I was gonna put them together, but I just may take them to the flea market just like that and blow them out, buy them, pick them up, buy them. Yeah, here's another one of those stools that was not in the package. That's how they look. And that's the bottom piece of that. I just grabbed that, but I am missing two more legs. It was in there. I just didn't get them. Now, I've been watching Mom the eBayer on YouTube. She does a lot of um, finding, but she actually puts her stuff on eBay. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. This is a used Dell multifunction laser printer. Uh, it's also a monitor by Dale. I may just take it out of the box. The box is wet. The, the printer is not wet. Take it out of the box. Take it to the flea market and see can I get five or six bucks for it. Yeah. Never know. And if I don't, then I'll get rid of it. Okay? So that's it, guys. Let's go in the house for the rest of my finds. Okay, I'm back outside for... This next find, I went on my patio to put this out because I'm hoping that it is in good condition because I will use it. Guys, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is a $129 uh, umbrella, patio umbrella. And I think it must be the solar kind. It must have the solar lights in it. So we shall see. I'm going to open it up. Let's see what I found. And guys, this is so funny. This was kind of beside it in, you know, I'm reaching with this because I was using this. So when I grabbed it, something just told me to go back and grab this. But guess what? This goes with that. So I'm so glad I picked that up. Let me see if it's worth all of the effort okay, it took guys, to guys, I just opened it up, set it up, and that was well worth uh, the struggle it took me to get out. It's in a beautiful burnt orange. Gorgeous. It looks great out here on my patio, too, guys. Um, it's like the middle of um, October. so But we do have a warm day. It's like 68. That's my old umbrella I, that I used to use with this small um, high table. And look, it actually picks up the same colors in my terracotta on top of the bar. Yeah, those burnt oranges, if you can see. Look at that. Perfect. I'm keeping that for myself. Now, it is a solar, so I'm assuming that the piece, all of these maybe used to light up I'm not sure I'll go online and try to figure that out and see if I can make it work but it's a solar umbrella but if I don't use it oh well it's still beautiful okay guys so worth it so worth it wish I could find another one of those then I would have two out here two small ones and one big one that would be perfect all right, guys, let's go in the house for the rest of the stuff. Hey, guys, another installment of free stuff by the Frugal Nista. I just set all these colors up, guys, because don't they just really go in my family room? I'm digging all these colors. Let's start off with these beautiful pillows at the bottom. The pattern is a prism pattern. And, guys, these pillows... Are $19.99. Now I'm going to turn them over. 
because I think I'm going to invest in me a small little sewing machine, even though I don't sew at all. The zipper is broke on these, but I love these pillows. I really do. I'm feeling them. I'm digging them. And um, my mother-in-law is a sewing sewer, so maybe I can give them to her. But I think I want to try to play with these. Y'all know me. I like doing my own thing. They are feathered feel. And I think it's a very expensive pillow. Yeah, 19 bucks for this little square. Beautiful prism colors. And there are two of them. And both zippers are broke. Okay? Here's a cute little straw basket. Yeah, I picked that up from Michaels. These pillows came from Marshalls, guys. But all my baskets came from Michaels yesterday. They were just throwing out baskets, and I picked them up. Cute little rectangular basket. I might use it for my flea market. There's nothing wrong with it. No tears or pulls. Maybe they use it in, in a display or something. Okay? And up here are the rest of the baskets. I have one. Two, three, and four. This almost looks like it could be a little bread basket or something that you could put into your bath. And I'm thinking that these were probably all used maybe in some form of display because there are no tags on any of these, and I don't think there are returns. Here's a larger one that you can store towels in but that could be used for storage. And here's one that actually is lined in a cloth. So that's another storage in that double weave. Okay. And then this small one has handles. So this could be for books, magazines. Uh, I like the handles on it. It has two wooden handles. But no pulls or anything, guys. That's a chocolate and a tan. Okay. All right. And up next is a store that these hurricane um, came out of, they were three in a package. But these hurricane lamps were actually, um, these two were fine. I opened the package, I could hear it, you know, kind of shaking. So they got rid of all of them just because of the one was broken, the taller one was broken, it was a trio set. But look at those gorgeous colors, guys like a champagne at the bottom going from light to dark, that ombre. So inside is more of the champagne, pretty color. You can put a tea light in there. Then it comes down to that um, chocolate rum color, and then the champagne again. The stems are a dark chocolate. Okay, and then this is the second one. Those are very pretty. I will be using those. I'm not selling those. I'm going to be probably using that for a tablescape in my foyer. Guys, can you believe it? I have not decorated for the fall yet. And uh, I think I was waiting for those two. That's going to be pretty. I'll let you see it when I finished. Now, this also came from that same store, Kirkland. It was a set of three, one, two, three little holders that you could put like cotton balls in or something like that. Well, all of the glass holders were broken, but I decided to, you know, pull this little tray and two of the tops, because I know I can use these for something. Yeah, the tops are very ornate, scrolly, yeah, in a dark gold, like an aged gold, and then there's another one. And then the actual tray, I definitely can use that. Uh, you could even house these hurricanes on them. That would be pretty. That's a good look. I'm digging it. Yeah, so there's a couple of my finds, guys, from Michelin and Kirkland. Never been inside Kirkland, but Kirkland has given me some great stuff, some great finds. Okay, guys.